The next talk is entitled Constructing Low Latency Involutory MDS Matrices with Lightweight Circuits. It's joint work between Shun Yu, Shun Li, sorry, Si Wai Sun, Cha Yun Li, Xiao Wei, and Lai Hu, and Shun Li will give the talk. Thanks for the introduction. It's a joint work with Si Wai Sun, Cao Yun Li, Zi Hao Wei, and Lei Hu. I will int introduce our work for, from five parts. First is uh, diffusion matrices. The diffusion layers are typically realized with linear operations expressed as matrices and spreading the internal dependencies as much as, pos as possible. The diffusion property of a diffusion matrix is up to its branch number. Here is the here is the definition. It's a measurement of the minimal number of non-zero words of input and output. And a, it has an upper bound called a single atom bound. The matrix achieved the single atom, single atom bound is called the MDS matrix. Regular lightweight primitive have following types of diffusion layers. The first is the bit level permutations such as present, gift, the second is the bit-wise XORs and the rotations such as skinny, craft. And the third is the maximal distance separable or MDS matrices such as AES. And almost MDS matrices such as Midori and Comer. Here is the definition of MDS matrices. An Inevitable NK by NK binary matrices A is MDS over K M bit words if and only if the branch number of A equals K plus one. Here is the example of MDS matrix in AES besides its circulant. The wide chain strategy is an approach used to design the round transformations that combine efficiency and resistance against differential and linear equivalent analysis. MDS matrices are in accordance with the strategy, have advantages as diffusion layers in iterate block cipher. One is its relatively small number of rounds contribute to low latency designs. Here is a comparison. We have three cipher, all, they are all 128-bit block size and 128-bit tricky or key size. For skinny of bitwise XO constructions, the number of its, its round is 40. While for Midori, almost MDS, its number of rounds is 20. And AES, the MDS construction, its number of rounds is only 10. The other advantage of it is the simple and clear security proofs followed by AES. We have some construction strategies. The first is XO and rotation based, such as height. The second is iteration based, such as Fonton hash functions. The third is a special type based, such as circulant, orthogonal, ADMA, toplates, Cauchy, involutory, at A. And the circuit search based the work by Duo and Laurent. For involutory matrices, here is the definition. It's a square matrix that is its own inverse. Well, it means M squared equals to identity matrix. Involutory matrices are preferable in terms of hardware implementation since the same circuit can be reused when the inverse is required. The advantage of MDS and the involutory makes involutory matrices more preferable. Involutory MDS matrices applied in some ciphers, such as NUBs, Iceberg, and Prince. Now we go to the conjunction of lightweight involutory MDS matrices. First, we need to give the introduction of matrix. We est estimate the hardware cost of a linear operation as the number of 
XOR gates required in its implementation, but it's MB hard to obtain the minimal, X, minimal numbers of XOR gates required by Boyer's theorem. That is, for any field, shortest linear program is MB hard. So only metrics determining the upper bounds are available. One, here we only give two upper bounds. One is a direct XO count of DXC. It's, uh, it equals the Hamming weight of a matrix minus the number, minus its uh, no number. And the other is the global optimization. It corresponds to a good linear straight line program, which is based on certain SLP heuristics, such as Boyes. And we denote it as the SLP. Here is a, a comparison. For multiplication by this matrix, its, di its direct XO count is four, while its SLP XO gates is three, as following. The, SLP XOR gates is less than X DXC because the intermediate var variables T1 is used twice. Okay. We introduced some previous work rel relative to, relative to our works. Sakai will find a lightweight 16 by 16 evolutionary MDS matrix of this form where the C is equals to the companion matrix of x to the 4 plus x to the plus x plus 1, and its SLP x4 gates is 42. And crowns at a obtain lightweight 32 by 32 in the rotary MDS matrix by applying the subfield construction to the former. Well, the subfield construction is just um, double the uh, each submatrix of some matrices of the the matrix, well, it's the and the, its SLP XOR gates is double. Here, the crown matrix is has a XOR count of 80 to 84. So we extracting the structure the form, because the former two matrices are forms of this. Well, the difference is the choice of A, the matrix A. Let we generalize it and try to find lightweight in the MDS matrices of the following forms. It can be divided in four parts. The left top two by two some matrices, right top, left bottom, and the right bottom. Then we can see that all, all these four parts is semi semantic. So to keep G involutory, that is G squared equals to identity matrix, the four parameters have to satisfy these two equations and this, this kind of equation will de decrease the number of parameters from four to three. And furthermore, we, our goal is to find an, an involutory MDS matrix such as that its direct, direct XOR count is small. And by some dedu deduction, we get a solution which minimizes it at this form. And we apply Boyer's algorithm to it, and its uh, SLP XOR gate is 80, better than crowns. The previous result pr motivates us to consider a more generalized form of this. We only Fix the di diagonal submatrix to identity matrix, while the others are to be selected. And we also fix the matrices matrix of A to be the companion matrix of the poly polynomial x to the eight plus x to the two plus one of this form. We choose it because. Its, its XOR count is just one. And without loss of gener generality, we can do some operations on the parameters. Well, the, the operation won't change the, 
number of parameters is still 12, but in next step, we use the involutory property and deduce it to this form, and the number of parameters is six, that is epsilon one two, epsilon one three, epsilon one four, and RST. Under this limitation, we inspect all the parameters in integer ring of dimension six, satisfying the following conditions. After exhaustive search, we identify 5,550 involutory MDS matrices whose Hamming weight are within the range from 148 to 172. That is the direct XOR count within the range of 116 to 140. And now we consider the depths of the implementation circuits. Here is a easy example. Two list two implementations of the is uh, all the same summation y1 plus y2 plus y3. Y1 is the first is the summation of first four variables, while y3 equals the last four variables. Summa summation. And the left, the depth of left circuit is four, while the right is five. So, so it's the importance of the sequence is. In, so the sequence is important. As we said, we get five thousand five hundred and fifty MDS matrix in the third section, and we apply all, we apply Boyer's SLP's heuristic algorithm to all matrices, and we found the implementation depth is all, is all not, are all no, not less than four. So, but um, AES mixed columns can be implemented with depth three, so we wonder if our matrices can be uh, implemented with depth no, no bigger than three. And we have this theorem. The circuit depth of an MDS matrix, matrix A in 32 by 32, with branch number five is at least three, is it's the trivial, trivial deduction, but we just counting the number of one in matrix. So we try to enhance Boyer's algorithm with depth awareness. The difference is an in the choice of distance function. Basically, we modify Boyer's algorithm by only picking signals which are not going to exceed a specified depth, or depth bound and defining a new notion of distance which takes the circuit, the circuit depth into account. We are giving some examples First, we denote S as the sequence of signals, F as a linear predicate, and dirt HSF as our new distance function, dirt SF as Boyer's distance function. If dirt HSF equals K, F not only can be obtained, obtained by K additions, but also have implementation of K additions within depth, length, within depth H. The first example, we have the input signal of five variables, and the linear predicate is a summation of whole variables. Then the dirt H, the dirt three SF equals dirt SF equals four, because it can be implemented as first X two plus X three, X four plus X five, and the X six plus X X seven. Then we get the summation of x2, x3, x4, and x5. The last step is x8 plus x1. This contributes to depth 3. While if we set the depth limitation to 2, then it's, it has no solution. That means all, more, all the 
all the operations contribute to F have depths no, not less than three. And the second, second example, we have more, two more variables, x6 and x7. x6 has depth, it, depth of x6 is one, and the depth of x7 is two. Now we, we have to com compute the summation of x2 plus x2, x3, x4, and x5. By Boyer's algorithm, the dirt SF in this step, it equals one, because it can be implemented at x5 plus x7. That equals x3 plus x5 plus x6 equals x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 equals to f. Well, if we set the depth limitation to two, then it can, can be also implemented within implemented we as we first in compute the x8 equals x3 plus x5 then x8 plus x6 this is the f so we apply our new algorithm to all matrices we generated in section in section 3 and the lightest one with depth 3 is this form we all the A is still a companion matrix of x polynomial x, po x to the 8 plus x to the 2 plus 1. And its x all gates is 88. Then we will give our main results. We use our new algorithm to the AES mixed column matrix and get the x all gates of 105. And the depth limitation of three. And we also con constructed two involutory MDS matrix. One is one has an XOR gate of 78 with depth four, and one the other with XOR gate 88 and depth three. All of our code and the results are available in, at our GitHub website. In conclusion, we constructed a large number of involutory MDS matrices, apply Boyer's SLP heuristic algorithm to our matrices, and we get the lightest involutory MDS matrix. At last, we modify Boyer's algorithm and apply the new algorithm to all matrices. We get lattice involutory MDS matrix with depths of three. It's all, and uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, so maybe I ask a first question. Do you think your results can be further improved or this is the uh, best possible? Yes, it maybe can be improved by um, for constructing more uh, new structures. Because we, we already limited our structure to, to these forms, but it can be, may, may have more structures, not less than that. Maybe it's um, another question I have. It's dif maybe difficult to answer, but uh, the previous talk was also about MDS matrices yes. with lightweight circuits, but they're not involutory. Yes. So how big is the price to pay to get uh, involutory? Did you get a chance to compare your result with the ones in the previous paper? I mean, how much more XORs do I need to, to uh, get an involutory matrix? Is the difference very big or is it rather small? Yes, uh, we think that um, involutory is um, better for better for ciphers, better for the diffusion layers. Okay, so any more questions? So if not, thank you very much again.